So, we have a salt and pepper kit, and we have walnut. Let's have some fun. Do I want the sapwood or do I not? I'm thinking I'm going to keep the sapwood because it adds that little extra contrast. Yeah, let's keep a little bit of sapwood. That, that is not square. We need square square. Closer, but not quite. Let me come out to there. And so, two inches. But I'll see you this way first. is well within standards. And another one, square on. I love it when I can make a square out of a rectangle. So let's find the middle of this board. There we go. Close enough. Close, close, close. I mean, let's do some marks out here before I forget. I want to know where this circle is so I can turn the circle into an octagon. Sides ish.
so we've got two blocks salt shaker and pepper grinder and uh, now we need to drill holes all the way through them for the salt and pepper to house in but uh, the best way to do that would be a drill press Geek, and it'd be done uh, i could use my post drill but that would take forever to drill that far um, so i could use the brace because the the perfect one would be the forstner bit for this because i'm going into end grain but a brace and a forstner bit just don't work well together and unfortunately the diameter i need is larger and smaller than any of the wood owls i have so i can't use a wood owl so i'm stuck with the forstner bit that's the right size an inch and a sixteenth <sighs> i guess we're gonna have to break out the uh, demon yellow brace I always feel like I need to do some sort of human sacrifice to make this thing work. There we go. Looks straight, is straight. They match. Now we're drilling the bottom section. Making sure we're centered. And you can see I could do that with a brace, but it's going to take forever. Good and flat, but I need to go down that far. close. I want to make sure that everything actually fits the way it's supposed to. So that goes under there and that goes down onto there. big mistake with this one that circle is out of center which isn't gonna make that big a difference but it will be a light a slight bit annoying <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, everything's better with BLL. So those then slide together and you got pepper grinder. that up with there. Can thread that on. I can turn this to match. And now I do the same thing with this. Most of the way, but not all the way. So now we have salt shaker and pepper grinder. Happiness. So there you have it. Uh, we made this one out of walnut, which is really easy to work and a lot of fun. It's a very classical, traditional look. I like it with the, the one stripe of the, uh, uh, of the sapwood, so you kind of get the coloring in there. Um, I made this one earlier out of a piece of mango, and it's just got so much character. I, I like mango. It's, it's a little more difficult wood to work, but uh, it has a lot of color to it, and, and I like that. Um, really, really quick project, and you can whip these out um, in just a matter of a couple hours. Uh, the first one took me two hours. The second one took me about an hour and a half. And I could probably get it down to under an hour if I wasn't recording. So, uh, yeah, um, great projects and a lot of fun. Uh, just about anyone can make one of these. I will leave links to the kits down below if you want to see that. Um, also, if you go over to my second channel, Wood by Right How To, um, I talk through it and I actually describe what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the lessons I'm learning along the way. So if you want to see that, uh, Wood by Right How To is where I do all of the teaching now. Um, I have three videos a week that come out there as opposed to just the one on this channel. So if you do have any questions or things that I could do better, things I should learn, let me know those down in the comments down below. I do read through all of them and I learn quite a lot from that. Thank you. That does actually help out the channel. Anytime you hit comment, like, share, subscribe, uh, thank you. Uh, you do help us get in front of more people and help the channel to grow and that means a lot. If you want to take it a little bit farther, then there are the names scrolling over in the side. They are the patrons on Patreon. They are the ones who are quite literally keeping this channel going. We are completely sponsored by you. Uh, as well as members here on the channel, those are the people who've clicked the little join button down below. Without members and patrons, uh, this wouldn't exist. So thank you for that. On top of that, we do have special perks for both. Uh, there are some people who are currently watching us behind the scenes, and they are the patrons and members, and so we have things like that that we do extra for. Thank you. means more than I can say. And on that note, I think I'll do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. So what you guys can do is you can put questions down below, and if you do it enough, you could actually be peppering me with questions. And uh, some of the questions, though, they, they, they tend to insult me.